What's up guys, Kenny here, and today we're going to be continuing on our plugin development series. Today we're going to be going over a crucial part of all plugins, is uh, that's having a, a configuration file, or config.yml is what you guys are probably familiar with. So uh, let's go ahead and dive right on into this. We're actually going to be continuing on with that intro to events plugin we made last time. I just kind of figured it'd be nice to build upon that and maybe even start to build up some sort of plugin. I'm not entirely sure where where I would go with this, but um, if you guys have any sort of simple plugin ideas that you guys would want me to go over uh, for you guys, um, something basic for you guys, then I'd be more, more than willing to do that. Just uh, email me or leave a comment below and uh, I'll look into doing that for you guys. Um, anyways, so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be creating this plugin, this same plugin. So remember, uh, when they log in, this, this message is going to be sent to them, right? So the only difference is, instead of having this message be set to be the same thing every time, we'll make it so it can be changed in the config file. So basically it'll take this message from the configuration file instead of just this string that's hard coded in here. So the first thing we want to do is go ahead and make our config file. So to do that we go ahead and go up to the source file and uh, then you right click and new file and then you're going to type in config.yml and hit finish just like that it is open and then you can go and double click this and it'll open in your uh, text editor I'm using notepad plus plus for this and why don't we just go ahead and make this pretty simple and just make this a string so message colon and we'll put in welcome to the server exclamation mark and we'll hit save so now, before I move back onto the code and how we're going to do this, the first thing that's crucial is understanding the YAML format. The way that it works is there's a correlation between the way you're going to get a string in code and how it actually looks visually. So, uh, a, y, y, a, a YML you can you you sometimes see like this, or you'll see uh, you'll see an indent such as uh, worlds, and then enabled and then maybe like a list of world build and something like that so in code the way that you would get to this list here is it would, it would be a worlds dot enabled because this is like the uh, when you're indenting a period is an indent kind of that's that's a way to think about it um, so for message, uh, you guys could kind of guess what it would be. Uh, so for message, it would just be message, and there's no, n that's it. And then w when we get this in code, it'll return this, this string in there. All right, well, hopefully that didn't confuse you more. Maybe it'll make a little bit more sense in the little, uh, I'll just go ahead and grab that out, save it. And so now we're back in code. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is when the plugin starts up, we need it to create the uh, the config, obviously. So it's really simple. This is a really simple way of doing it. Uh, so all you're gonna do is we're gonna type this dot uh, create no no dot save default config right there and semicolon just like that, and this will save the config that we created over here. And that's it. Now it'll be created when we start it up. But there's still another part to this, and that's getting it from the file. So, in order to get anything from the config file, the default config file, we're going to type this dot get config dot get string, and then this is the path. And remember, uh, it's message, and the path is that um, that weird thing with the dot uh, if it's indented. So message, just because because it's only one line, it'll be message. This it'll it'll just be message, and that will send them uh, the the string that we put in the config right here. Very simple, and so we can go ahead and test this out. Go ahead and hit F5, and then export next and finish. And now if we go ahead and open up our uh, our server go and move this over here to where we exported it to drag this into the plugins folder and replace it just like that and now we are going to start the server up and now we can go ahead and join the server 
and welcome to the server there it is and we can go in here and look at welcome to the server and we can even go in back into here and change this to something like hello and make sure you save it and then we'll reload the server and if we join the server again it's changed now just like that extremely simple and it has created the uh, config file uh, by the way I don't know if I showed you guys but if we go into here plugins and then it'll have automatically created this folder here and inside is this config.yml which is right there and that's that guys uh, that's about it for this tutorial it's a really short tutorial and as you probably noticed there's a number of things that can be improved in this there's a number I feel like that's all I'm saying this every tutorial this there's always a room for improvement always and there's a few annoyances that we're gonna go ahead and fix in the next tutorial and that's it for you, uh, for you guys today. The source for all this will be in the description, and it, I'll also include uh, the jar file in there too. Uh, that's about it for you guys. Um, my name is Kenny, and I'll see you guys next time.